What are you going to tie on? Mm, I don't know. Maybe a circus peanut? What? Or maybe a meat whistle? Or a belly scratcher? You've had way too many Diet Cokes today. What? You don't like fishing streamers? It's just so complicated, man. I mean, I wish somebody would just make like a simple how-to streamer video. Streamer fishing could be as simple or as complicated as you want to make it. You can grab your 9 foot 5 weight and a woolly bugger, walk out to the river and catch some fish and have some success with that. Or you can grab your sink tip line and your thousand dollar spay rod and your skagit heads and whatever else and walk out to the river and try and fish streamers with that. But just like everything else here at VFC, we're gonna simplify streamers down into something that is manageable for a beginner. Now, in this video, we're not going to cover how to set up a streamer rig. We actually already have a separate video for that, and there's a link to it in the description. Instead, this video is gonna cover the how-to. So, let's go over our four keys to fishing with streamers. Key number one, pick the right fly. We've talked a ton about matching the hatch and picking the right fly in this beginning masterclass. And just like with dries and nymphs, with streamers, we're actually imitating different food sources that trout have available to them. A streamer could imitate a smaller trout, or it could imitate a sculpin or other type of bait fish that's commonly found in the river. Streamers can also imitate crayfish or crawdads or crawfish or however the heck you say it. They can also imitate leeches or really big nymphs too, kind of like me right now. I'm a little, a little on the hefty side. The point is, streamers aren't just there to make a fish angry and trigger that predatory response. Yes, streamers certainly will do that, and some fish will eat the streamer just because they see it and they get angry and they just want to smack it out of there. But more often than not, you want your streamer to at least somewhat resemble food items that trout might find in the river. The only real rule when picking your streamer is one that seems a little counterintuitive, but it's an age old adage that you actually might have heard. If it's a bright day, you want a bright fly. And if it's a dark day, you want a dark fly. I've used that method to pick my streamers and it works. It's an age old adage for a reason. But to quote a famous pirate, that's really only a guideline. Don't be afraid to mess around with the color and the size and the shape of your streamer to see what exactly is gonna get fish to move that day. Key number two, find that streamer water. You gotta make sure you're fishing streamers in water where they're gonna have a higher chance of success. And that water type is going to be your deeper, slower runs and pools. Riffles can be good for streamers, but it's kind of dependent on the time of year. And I would recommend instead focusing on finding that ideal walking speed water that trout love to hang out in because that's where you're going to have a lot more success fishing your streamers. An important thing to remember with streamers is you are going to cover a ton of water as you're fishing with these bad boys. You want to get that streamer in front of as many fish as possible. And generally speaking, if a trout's going to eat a streamer, they're gonna do it on that first or second presentation. So if you've covered a good spot and nothing's bumped it, then move on to the next spot. And again, that's part of streamer fishing. You're going to cover a ton of water. You won't catch as many fish fishing with streamers as you would with nymphs or maybe even dry flies, but you have a much better chance at hooking into that 39 and 5 8 inch trophy trout that you can hang above the mantle place, right? I'm kidding. We don't hang trout above the mantle place anymore. Who can afford a mantle these days? In this economy, come on. But that leads us perfectly into our next key, which is covering the water. When you're fishing with a streamer, you've got three ways that you can effectively cover water. The first way is what we're gonna call the basic retrieve. Cast the streamer either slightly upstream or directly across from you to the opposite bank. Then you're gonna strip that line back towards you. Keep in mind that you are imitating food that has come out of hiding, it might be wounded or trying to swim through the current. 
So you will want to vary your strips. Some of them are going to be very fast. Some are gonna be slow. Sometimes you'll do four or five quick strips in a row with a long pause and then maybe a long slower strip. If one retrieve isn't working, try another. You just never know what fish are looking for on any given day. The second way to cover water is on the swing. To fish a streamer on the swing, you're gonna cast it straight across from you, then hold the line tight and let it swing with the current. Once the line is directly below you, give it a couple of strips. Occasionally, fish will follow the streamer all the way up to the end of the swing, so it is important to make sure that you give it a little bit of character at the end of the swing to entice any fish that might be on the fence to eat your fly. An important element to swinging is achieving the correct depth. If you want it deeper, cast further upstream or give an upstream mend, or you can tie on a heavier fly or use a sink tip fly line. The third way to cover water is to dead drift that streamer. This is essentially nymphing, but with a streamer. I actually did this a bunch this past summer with a crawdad imitation and caught a ton of big trout doing this. This is probably one of my favorite ways to fish streamers. Presentation and mending are not nearly as critical with this setup as they are with nymphs or dries. Remember, that streamer is imitating something that might be struggling or trying to escape something else, or it's wounded. So any extra movement that you add to that drift might be just the ticket to entice a trout to come eat your fly. Key number four, and this one's my favorite because we're talking about breaking the rules. There are no rules fishing with streamers. Play around with everything. Play around with the size of the fly that you picked. Play around with the color. Play around with the retrieve. Swing it, dead drift it, strip it in really quick. Do it really slow and soft. Whatever you want to do to add some variety to it because you never know what is going to trigger that trout to eat that streamer. So get out there and break the rules, but don't hold VFC libel. Please and thank you. Now that we have a solid understanding of how to fish streamers, we're gonna go back in time to when it wasn't 16 degrees outside and go visit one of my favorite little rivers and watch this stuff in action. I'm out here on this little stream that I love and we got up to this pool, you can see it behind me and it is just begging to be fished with a streamer. So let's take everything that we just learned and put it into practice. I think this is really good streamer water because it's a little bit deeper, it's slower moving, and I know this river really well and I know the bigger fish really like to hang out in this stuff. If I'm wanting to put a bigger fish in the net, a streamer is gonna be a really good chance to do that. So I just think the combination of the depth and the river speed and the fact that I have casting room too. I mean, you look around, there's not a lot of stuff around me. So this just gives me a really good opportunity uh, to actually make the streamer cast and get my flies up there. So let me remove the salad that I somehow got on the fly before even casting. So I've got the streamer I have on is not super heavy. So I'm gonna cast it upstream a little bit further so it's got time to sink down. And I'm really just gonna let this kind of dead drift for a little bit. And then I'll start stripping and bouncing it maybe a little bit towards the end of the drift. All right. Well, I am just gonna make kind of a quartering upstream cast. Let it drift and I'm just barely just bumping and stripping it through this deeper water. Just bouncing it, just trying to make it look like a somewhat enticing meal to any of the fish that might be hanging out in here. up a little bit. I can see that the streamer is not getting quite as deep as I would like, so that means I need to let it sink a little bit more before I start mounting it. So I'm going to let it sink. I'm watching the tip of my fly line. Now I'm going to pull it through. 
see if we can't get the fish to come come play. Oh, fish on! Woohoo! Strip, 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 boom! Oh yeah! That was fun. What I'd really like to drive home about that streamer eat just barely is this is just one way that you can fish streamers on a river like this. It would have, I, I mean, I can't say it would have, but it might have been almost as effective to stick that streamer under an indicator and just dead drift it through the run. Especially with all the really big stone flies that we're seeing out on the river today, there's a really good chance that a fish would see that bigger streamer and just pounce on it because it might look like a bigger stone fly now. So again, you want to remember there's no right or wrong way to fish streamers through there. You guys saw my presentation. I was casting upstream. I was letting it sink. I would strip, strip, strip. I'd bounce it. I'd use the tip of the rod a little bit to almost jig that streamer. Get creative. I know I've said that a ton in this module, but you really do want to get creative when you're fishing streamers, especially on water like this. It makes it a ton of fun and I think you'll end up finding a lot more success. See, catching trout on streamers really can be that easy. You just tie on a woolly bugger or a leech, walk out to a deeper pool and strip it on through. And sometimes it works just like you want it to. Now, for the next video in this series, I'm gonna teach you how to sneak up on trout without spooking them. That's right. I'm gonna help you become just like a lion out there on the Serengeti. Ah! Ah! <laughs>